All the ingredients for a wild week weather-wise. Here's meteorologist Travis Christie with the full forecast. Travis? Hey, and we're starting it out in warm fashion. These are today's highs. You bet some people were wiping their brows down south in Carlsbad. 100 degrees today, by the way, down there. 98, that was the high in Roswell and Albuquerque, near 90 degrees. We've cooled off in the 70s across the Rio Grande Valley, down towards the south, some 70s as well. 50s to the even north, off into Colorado, and wind speeds gradually have calmed down as well. But we're anticipating another windy day across the state. Matter of fact, we've got fire weather watches for the northwestern corner and back off into Bernalillo County. Gusts will reach as high as 30, even 40 miles per hour in some locations, and then back towards the south, red flag warnings through Sunday, 9 o'clock. So yes, the winds, the low humidity is all going to play a factor in what's going to be happening tomorrow. All because of the upper level low that's spinning off into the north and west, that's kicking up those southwesterly winds into the state, and gradually what we will see is those winds somewhat relaxing towards Monday, but Right now, we're looking at some very gusty winds. However, tomorrow evening, we'll start to see the beginnings of this moisture creeping on into the east. And by Monday, we'll probably see a few showers popping up here as well, particularly early Monday morning as that dry line backs off into New Mexico. What's going to increase our moisture chances, or at least our chance for some strong showers and storms, will be the addition or at least the amplification of this ridge of high pressure in the east and this low off towards the west. That's going to pinwheel the moisture into New Mexico. Mexico. Almost kind of monsoon-like. Uh, definitely looks that way anyway. So overnight tonight, things will be quiet. And the same thing for the most part tomorrow. But you'll notice a little bit of a cooling trend across the east by a few degrees. But we're going to be adding moisture to the atmosphere out here in the eastern plains. So by tomorrow evening, early Monday, could see a few showers popping up here. And as the week wears on, the upcoming week, we could be dealing with some scattered to even some strong storms across portions of the east, and some of that could seep into the west as well. Overnight tonight, we'll be in the 40s, highs tomorrow in the 80s and 70s for the most part. Gusts could reach as high as 40 miles per hour. There's your seven-day forecast, which does include partly cloudy skies, a chance for a few showers by Monday, and temperatures will slowly rebound, but a cool, little bit of a cool-off across the board for the northwest anyway. For the southwest, overnight tonight will be in the 40s and 50s, highs tomorrow in the 70s to near 80 degrees, even some nice 90s down around Las Cruces. In the southeast tonight, cool. Tomorrow, it will be up in the 90s, but not as hot as we saw today. I think what's going to make the difference is the addition of that moisture as it seeps on in. Roswell, here's where your seven day forecast is looking like 94 for tomorrow. We'll be in the 80s on Monday and a chance for a few thunderstorms to pop up well on into the end of next week. For the northeast, overnight tonight, it looks like a cool one. Highs tomorrow will be in the 80s to near 90 degrees. A gust of 50, we do have red flag warnings. Fire weather watch is posted for Colfax County. Of course, the northern mountains under that fire weather watch, so fire danger is going to be high here. Gusts could reach as high as 40 in the northern mountains. And there's a seven-day forecast, which just include a slight chance of a few spot showers Monday and a Tuesday. Best chances will be in the east, obviously, but hopefully we get some of that moisture seeping into the west courtesy of some of those storms, and that will bring us a chance for some showers in portions of the west. Gust of 40 for these mountains. Highs tomorrow will be in the 80s, and there's what we've got going on for the metro area overnight tonight. 50s, highs nearing 90 degrees, and gusts could reach as high as 40 to 45 miles per hour. So 80s tomorrow, 70s on Monday, and we'll look for a chance for showers toward Wednesday. All right. Thank you, Travis.